Chino's booty sweat popping ass open. So I'm going to get some cheeks after this horsepower joint. What was she thinking? What's up, everybody? This is Mike. Today we're going to look at this video, compliments of CNN, the Coon News Network, which I'm going to call it right now moving forward, because one of the main anchors, Abby Phillip, decided to invite Cameron on, which in this interview, I don't know exactly what she was hoping to gain from this interview, which is actually one of the most infuriating things for me, because I believe this is how the liberal democratic class perceives black people. When you see Hillary Clinton talking about hot sauce, when you see Chelsea and Hillary painting with Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B endorsing uh, Hillary Clinton, it tells me everything that's wrong with some of the subculture of Black America. And Cameron basically validated every single negative thought I had with the current hip hop scene. I was really thinking in this moment, this is a zeitgeist. These are the times we're living in when uh, CNN, a mainstream media network, that used to have a lot of credibility a long time ago when it was at the helm of Ted Turner and he was controlling it. Guys like Larry King, Bernard Shaw, a whole host of anchors that were very reputable. Anyway, we're going to jump right into this video. I'm going to give you my analysis as this video plays. Roll the clip. Okay. Niggerize me. Thanks for being here. First, when you saw that video of Diddy, Cassie, uh, in that hotel. Did you recognize that Sean Combs? Um, what I want to say, first of all, when I seen the video, um, everything in the video is egregious. I'm against, uh, I don't support uh, all the charges that's alleged against him. I don't support any of that traffic and minors, uh, domestic violence. I'm totally against it. So when I seen the video, yeah, I was kind of upset with it. Uh, no, being that I know him, he's not necessarily a friend, but yeah, I was upset when I seen it. But did, did you recognize as as everything him? I just said? Did you recognize I, that I kind of anger at all from your experiences? I don't know him like that. What do you mean? Do I be recognized? Do I recognize him? I... Oh my God! Wow! What do you mean, my experiences? I seen him and I thought I thought it was disgusting. I didn't do a zoom in to see if it was really him or nothing, but. He admitted it was him, so, yeah, it was him. What did you think about the apology that he gave in that other video? Amy, for this, the apology ain't for me to decide for Cassie. What, what, I, what I think about it don't matter. He ain't do nothing to me. Cassie need to, need to ask Cassie if she accept the apology. I told you I feel, I said what I said. I want to play a conversation that you had on your podcast back in September with Mace. Mm -hmm. Let's That's a good point. Yeah. These type of pundits, these talking heads on these mainstream media networks, they're too busy trying to ask these other people that they bring on about how they feel about certain situations, which is in fact is actually what's wrong with America. Everything's so polarizing now. You know, you need these types of people to get on to tell who they're going to vote for. Sometimes I don't even know if this is anybody's business. Like, are we this desperate for news? Is this really a jaw-dropping interview? If you're, for the one minute that's gone by, is this really a jaw-dropping interview? Like, what is the, what are we trying to extract from this dude, Cameron? When you had your record mm, deal, why did you take me to Biggie Smalls and not um, Bad Boy? Man, it's almost going to bring me to tears to say this. I just... Being that I saw you as as such a good friend, I wanted to put you with somebody I knew was. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. A lot of people ask me that on Instagram, yeah, I knew man. Don't have instantly, me. That's why I hear crying and shit, it. man. I don't want to get emotional knew, in here, man. Instantly, I knew Biggie would would do right by you. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? I mean, is there? Um, is there something known in the industry about how did he treat <laughs> he just he just pops out with this pink energy horsepower <laughs> it's already open 
did his artists. Dude is, <laughs> dude is shaking. <laughs> I don't know if this guy is nervous. He, he hasn't been on CNN before. My man shaking. I don't know if this is an issue, drug issues, if this guy is having some withdrawals. That's a lot of shaking going on. Let's go back and look at that. Is there, um, is there something known in the industry about how Diddy treated his artists? So I'm going to get some cheeks after this horsepower joint. <laughs> Look at her face. You know what? She deserves this. And good for him for being true to himself. But, you know, screw this woman, Abby Phillip. I've been looking at a lot of her interviews. I've seen her with Charlemagne the God, Angela Rye. I did a video about this interview a while back. Nobody watched it. But, you know, she gets actually what she deserves here. She's nobody that demands or requires respect. But good for him. Kudos to Cameron for keeping it real, keeping it a buck. I'm just going over what Mace said. Mace took me to Biggie. I don't really know Puff is like Mace no Puff. So I appreciate what Mace said, and of course, uh, that's my brother. So if he felt that way, then he felt that way. I can't really tell you how Puff moves or anything like that. Mace may know better than me because he was signed to Puff. I wasn't. But my show does come on at 8 a.m. Eastern on YouTube. It's called It Is What It Is, and y'all make sure y'all check it out. I mean, I might get some more information out of Mace from there, but for me to tell you hmm. how Puff acting and all that, I don't know. I never was signed to him. Yeah. What about the industry in general? I mean, so many people have pointed out that Diddy couldn't get away with this stuff if there weren't a lot of people protecting him. Do you think that's the case? Who the talent agent for this joint? Like, you think I'll be sitting around watching what Diddy do and all this? I didn't know this was a Diddy joint that was inviting me to. Yo, who, yo, who booked me for this joint? All right. Oh, wow, and I'll be sitting Cameron. around watching Diddy and all that. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks, come on, man. Thanks for crazy, joining man. us. Thank you for your time tonight. Yeah, yeah, yo, thank, yo, thank you for having me. You enjoy. This video right here is gold because it shows me the way the media is structured now with YouTube and Rumble and social media and all these platforms that give guys like Cameron a huge voice. Coming on a place like CNN is just an afterthought. CNN does not garner the same respect it once had when Larry King was alive, when Bernard Shaw was alive. This is not the same news network. They've cleaned house, and all you have left are these DEI hire news pundits. News pundits. If we call it news, this is what you have here. CNN, the Coon News Network, is nothing but a bunch of DEI hires. And these are what type of videos you get when you have a network that has fallen from grace. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. CNN, whatever credibility you had left, you've lost it all in this one video. Inviting a dude on who has just basically destroyed the English language, no subject verb agreements, he, do, she, be, I, who, da, I'm trying to, I don't know nothing about P. Diddy, I don't be watching no P. Diddy. Leaning back in the chair, sunglasses, all lazy interview, shaking, knocking back, liquid pink Viagra. This is what the mainstream liberal media thinks of us. We just carrying hot sauce, twerking, drinking pink Viagra on national television. Somebody believes in the editing room, this is okay. This should be the person we should be asking on national television. This, this idiot who's just basically decimated the English language on primetime television. This is the go-to guy. This is the, the interview of the century because we have to get to the bottom of P. Diddy and his whole debauchery. You're gonna invite the most ignorant dude on there. And in fact, I'm a little jealous how some of these dudes, I've been trying to do things the right way, you know, going to job, punching the clock, you know, making my little salary. I'm actually jealous when I see ignorant motherfuckers make a lot of money getting platforms, getting propped up on national television. To be honest with you, excuse my language. I'm a little frustrated when I see this type of debauchery and ignorance being perpetuated on the Coon News Network um, through Abby Phillip, who I'm actually highly disappointed in. Like she projects herself as this kind of 
black all American girl next door. She speaks pretty clean English. She kind of has traditional American values. She has a husband, she has a family. She invites this complete idiot on trying to get some story behind the scenes about Diddy. And all he's doing is leaning in his chair, shaking with Lokes on, knocking back pink Viagra, pink horsepower. This is like some step and fetch it type of skit, which I thought we evolved from 60, 70 years ago, but somehow black people are doing their own versions of blackface. CNN used to be one of the most respected news in, on television. And they've devolved into the point where they got a guy on named Cameron promoting a pink Viagra energy drink. Anyway, this is Mike for Flew the Coop. Hope you enjoyed the commentary. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. I appreciate it. I'd like to know what you think about my commentary. My skin is thick. It doesn't really matter. It helps me to be a better person. Until the next video, this is Mike. Peace. Out on him. That shit, I like that though. We gonna call that Pink Horsepower, aka the 1200. Vroom, nigga.